fellow travelers, you're watching a Travel Tips episode of KP Explores, with content designed to help you make the most of your family trips. In this video, we will share with you some tips for traveling from the Philippines to Japan with a 5-month-old infant. To visit Japan as Philippine passport holder, make sure to apply for a birth certificate and passport for your child as early as possible. Mama. 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 Take note that budget airlines do not usually provide onboard entertainment for passengers. We brought along snacks for KP just in case he becomes picky and won't like what's readily available in Osaka. True enough, it was difficult to find familiar food and snacks for KP once in Osaka. Make the most of traveling with your child with airlines that do not charge airfare for children under 2. Upon reaching Osaka, the adjustment to the cold weather was our first challenge. We just turned on the heaters, kaya mabagal pa sila uminit. But it's okay. Very cozy. The place is very cozy. We're still unpacking and in a bit we'll go to 7-Eleven and buy stuff. It's, it's super cold. We have two heaters. There's one in this room. And another one in the sala. And KP and Nina are under the heater dahil it's really cold. But it's getting warmer and warmer. Konnichiwa, Tito Kit and Tito Deron. KP is so happy sa cold weather. At yung kamay ni Champs, puro blisters na dahil sa ginaw. Look at our food na binili from the train station. Okonomiyaki. Some takoyaki. Oh, and damn it. We are sharing the link to the Airbnb where we stayed at in Osaka through the video description below. Katapos ni KP mag hot tub. I'm trying to figure out how to use this thing it's in Japanese. It's cold outside. We have a park nearby. Weather so clear and windy. We brought with us a Baby Zen yo-yo stroller which was very useful throughout our stay in Japan. A full description of the stroller and the link is provided in the video description below, should you want to learn more about the stroller. Osaka Castle. In succeeding portions of this episode, you will be able to see why a lightweight and sturdy stroller is essential to your Japan travel during winter. You may travel around the city by train or taxi. It is easier to go around with an infant by taxi. Planning properly is key to an enjoyable and stress-free experience of traveling with your infant. Enjoy downy keeping weather, no? Right? Yeah! From Osaka, we will be visiting Tokyo where the weather is supposedly colder during winter.
the Shinkansen Cabin will provide you with a cozy and warm experience as you take in the wonderful sights of the Japanese countryside. We highly recommend taking the Shinkansen with your child or children. It is a very enjoyable ride not only for the kids but for adults as well. In part 2 of this travel tips episode, we will share our experiences visiting Tokyo with an infant. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed watching our travel tips.